play sets, one of my favorite things to collect. If it's like this one, World War II military from Matchbox, or like this one, Airfix, Napoleonic era, Waterloo. Or maybe like this one, Matchbox, Railway, Goods Yard, just regular civilian life, right? They're all really cool. And the thing I think I really like about playset, it's, you know, that you get everything you need to start just playing in one box, ready to go. And also why I like collecting them is maybe because I didn't get one as a kid, because back in the 70s they were quite expensive, and they're quite expensive uh, today as well to collect. And I mean, f for something like this, the Matchbox uh, Counter-Attack, for the same price, you could get almost, I think, a full set of the Airfix brown boxes, at least in decent condition. So, if it's worth the money or not, I'm not sure, but I really, really like them. So the one I'm going to have a look at today, it's this one. It's called the Counter-Attack from Matchbox in 132nd scale. I would say this is more toy-like than the Airfix Combat Packs, which are more, a little bit more model-like, right? But I think Matchbox makes some really, really fun sets. And you know if you watched my channel before that I really like the 132nd scale toy, toy soldiers they made back in the 70s. So in today's video I'm just going to show you what's in the box. I'm going to set it all up like a little time lapse thing. And I'll do some cool uh, videos of its setup. And I'm going to use all the little different weapons here and see how they work and function. But before we start I just want to ask you guys to please subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you get notified when I release new videos. And the reason for this is I also, I watch mainly YouTube these days and I realized that if I don't subscribe to a channel and I start, I change what I'm watching for, for like a few weeks, some of the older stuff that I don't subscribe to kind of get lost in the algorithm and after a while I just realized, wait a minute, what happened to that channel I used to watch? Because I don't get suggested it anymore. And that's for you know the same for everybody on YouTube. So if you like the channel, and there are not that many of us that do this with these old toy soldiers and stuff, and if you like it, so just you know make sure you get notifications by subscribing and all that good stuff. Anyways, uh, let's get going. So first, uh, the box art. I really like this one. It's a little bit smaller than the Airfix Combat Packs, but I think the different angle from where you're watching the scene makes it a little bit more dynamic. I like this side part a little bit more than the combat packs as well, but they're very nice, of course. One thing I really like is that there's actually photographs of the two boys here, so it makes it easier for you to imagine yourself being one of them, right? And <laughs> I'm not sure why this guy is so happy because his uh, tower here is getting shredded to pieces. Yeah, so I think this image here really makes it easy for you to imagine playing with this set and how it would you know, make it feel or make you feel. You know, with the Germans held up in the building here, the tower falling over, the machine gun just shooting bullet after bullet and the cannon firing his uh, shell or whatever. And all the soldiers here. I'm not sure why the German officer is so up, up front from the rest of his soldiers. But anyways, it's really, really cool. Then for the small images here on the side, vehicle firing. The grapnel, they call it. <laughs> and then you have what they call a cannon. This says rapid fire. I call it a machine gun and it's not rapid fire. I'll show you a bit later. And then here you have the cool building getting blown up. It says authentic European style, strong point building, delayed action mine. So <laughs> you'll see how that works and you'll recognize that, that kind of uh, delay action from other toys back from the 70s. And then here at the end you have, you know, 30 combat troops. I think it's, it's, it's kind of too bad that he put one German and one American here. And then the photograph here on the side I think is real cool. Uh, the boys setting up the building, putting it together and all the rest of the parts that are in there makes it look like wow there's a lot of stuff in this set. And here you get some really nice drawings of what's in the box and I'll show you that a little bit later. And then it's at, at the end here's a really cool photograph of everything set up. And so inside the box, first of all, we have the play mat, which uh, I think is really, really nice. You have the basement for the building. You have the little base for the guard tower. And you have a little thing here for the statue. On the other side of the street, you have uh, a bomb crater or something. And uh, yeah, just nice cobblestone road and... Um, very nice details. I like the fact that it's hinged like this and not in two pieces as the Airfix playmats are. You get an assembly. They call this a play kit, not a playset. Assembly instructions, I should say. You have uh, how to um, apply the where and how to apply the stickers. 
and also the stickers for the vehicle which uh, of course you can make into either an American or a German vehicle which is kind of odd other than that more instructions for all of the little items you see there's a lot of stuff in here fits together really well with all these things I put it together and took it apart a few times and it's very easy and it, nothing really breaks on it while handling and working on it of course inside you have all the nice matchbox toy soldiers that we all know and like a lot very cool 30 of those you have all the building pieces and there's a lot of those too a very nice good durable solid plastic they already applied the stickers on this one nicely done though and then <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in here and then you have the guard tower i'm not going to take this out i'm going to do you know i'm going to set this up and do a little time lapse so you'll see everything and then you have all the appliances <laughs> all the weaponry i should say you have the machine gun you have the mine i'll show you all that later and all the good stuff the shells and everything and then you have the funny funky little vehicle which i guess should be a greyhound m20 when it's an open top but if um you know the the, the usual one was the m8 with the turret on it it's kind of cool these wheels are kind of squeaky but it rolls nicely and it's a nice durable cool plastic So the building all set up looks uh, really cool to me all the little stickers and stuff like that i think uh, this would actually even paint up really well if we wanted to make it like into a little model okay so you get a lot of little small stuff in here you get these uh, i call them just shells right and then you get a lot of these whatever they are ammunition bullets whatever you want to call them and then the one I was talking about, the funny little, um, what they call them, delayed action mine. I had some toys like this with the suction cup and the spring. And then the spring overcomes the suction and woo! Jeez. <laughs> All right. Anyway, <laughs> so, so that one works. And then you put this on and it looks like a mine, I guess. Uh, you also get um, the machine gun. I'm going to put it together and show you, but I wanted to keep it apart first because there's actually a, a thing I wanted to show how this works you get the tube going in to this device and then it's a spring inside here and you push and you see the piston moves and I guess if you, oops I broke it so I guess if you push really hard I, I think maybe you could get some rapid fire action but I'm gonna try it out let me just <laughs> retrieve the parts that I lost there you go, I have to put that back together. So this is how the piston works anyways. And just a little plastic ring that holds it in. And this is for what they call the grapnel or grappling hook, I say. I thought this was kind of like a stupid, just a toy thing, but I, I actually found on the, on the interwebs that they actually use this in the military, use a, a grappling hook, you know, they shoot it and then pull it back and you can take down barbed wire and some mines and trip wires and stuff like that so it actually exists and then on the vehicle you can put this like so and move around and shoot you can shoot the grapple or you can shoot these little shells but anyways i'm going to put the machine gun together and show you how it works there you go now it's put together so then you put the shells in i'll put five and oh six in there and then you get the part for the magazine Press it together and then supposedly if we press this now <laughs> that was cool i actually didn't get this one to work that well 
But I guess I was wrong then. It is rapid fire. That worked really well. Ha, huh? that's cool. So for this little, like I said, cannon or whatever you want to call it, I guess I'm going to call it a mortar. You could put it either on the vehicle or you actually get a little base for it. And then you attach the hose. I only got one of these to work. But like before, it actually works pretty good, I have to say. Yep, not bad at all. It's a little bit broken at the end. Yeah, <laughs> even the floor fell in. So that works pretty good. The mine works, the mortar works, the machine gun works. So it's pretty cool, actually. Oh, I forgot one thing. The grappling hook. There you go. Not bad. I'm going to set this up and <laughs> fix what I destroyed and then try to see if we can um, get some action going. That's it for this one. This was a fun little set, I think. Surprised about <laughs> that actually all those little weapons worked as well as they did. I uh, hope you liked it as well. Thanks for watching and uh, there's more play sets and other fun stuff coming up. So stay tuned. Cheers.